Okay, so I just brought my my color EPS uh, right into Photoshop, and then I separated it, rasterized it, and separated it so that I could offset it with the EPS black behind. All right, so there you see it. So I've got all those components. Right now, going for it. And I now get to play with whether I want this banner behind it or not. I do think I need it just for this little hook. So let me bring that in now. And remember, I saved this as a separate EPS. And I should have brought it underneath, I did not. Because it's an EPS, I can always reshape it. That's no problem. All right. So let's bring it in. And this gives me the advantage of being able to kind of position it right to whatever I think might be best. Or this poster. I can play with tilting it a little bit. This is an internal framing device. This gives it a little bit more energy. Okay, so let's say I like the EPS there. I could try moving it down. I could have my uh, font or my typefaces actually break the border, which could be fun. So playing with all of these components individually. can help you make better decisions. We're just going for a good poster. That's our goal. So that's the way it was designed. But I kind of liked it. Yeah, tilted up and away. And maybe um, I'll cut it off on the bottom there and warp it a little bit. So if you want to make additions to it, remember, you can always duplicate your smart EPS and then rasterize it, giving you just turning it into pixels that you can fully play with. But even without rasterizing it, you could use layer styles and play with it that way. So I'm going to erase away the bottom here at 100% to use my tablet again. It's been a while. Since Illustrator mostly <coughs> works with the mouse, except when you're doing the blob brush. Hard edge. Yeah, just be confident about your choice. I just kind of cut it off right there. All right. Now, because I rasterized it and I can edit it, I can also do little little things that are really easy. Like select just the color. All right. Actually, let's see. Without contiguous, I want to select just this color. And I want to get the stuff on the outside. But it's okay if it's a little offset. Just cleaning it up without a lot of time. And we're not a graphic design class. It's hard to clean up everything about your vector. 
it's good to have those options at the end here. That'll do. I could also paint in any of these other gaps. That's pretty good. Cool. Okay, next. Because it's separate and rasterized, I could play with not just its opacity, right, which I think is helpful, but also its blending style, how it works with the background. None of those are very interesting. <laughs> the darkening is. So I want to give it a little bit of that texture, let some of that come through. So linear burn was, was helpful. Multiply kind of works. Just like a shadow. Linear burn or multiply. Probably linear burn. Let's just take the opacity down a little bit. Okay, and then last thing, I want to maybe warp it. Do something you can't do. You can't use warp with smart layers. So I can bring this all down a little bit, modify its shape, because this is all just a framing device. Ooh, and if I really, this is using all of our skills, right? If I really want to have tight control of its shape, I can puppet warp it because of that little horn. And I can anchor it where I want it. And then tug at it from different angles. Kind of even out this organic, weird, kind of water stained shape. This is fun. I haven't really done this with type before. There's no reason not to. This way you can kind of curve shapes around, do things with them, try not to be overly fussy. Keep the eye movement clean. Yeah, so that's, that's an improvement, the shape above. And I can use my eraser. Cut out from below. And I want to try one more thing. But it's weird enough, I'll do it on a duplicate just in case. And that is to erase using what's called a halftone brush. So this is a brush that cuts out in halftone dots. Right. It's actually erasing it in halftone dots. I just want to do that on the bottom a little bit to transition it. Again, for that comic book effect behind the, the text. And because I did it on a duplicate, I can fade that in. Right now I'm erasing it at 100%. I think it'll especially be helpful on these bottom edges. So remember, posters are meant to be seen from from a distance. Okay, so now I'm going to take the opacity down a little bit and then fade that into the top. So 
lets even more of their background come through. A lot of rainbow colors in this design. All right. And then I can see how I can layer them up. So I might use this and I might use it to lighten. <coughs> what's underneath or let's see is it the screen there we go so we're talking about a pretty subtle effect here but it helps give it a little bit more visual interest I can always duplicate it layer it up in different ways. Up on one. And go back into your history and just see where you liked it best. Okay, now I have the option to color behind this text, but I don't really want to. I think, I think it's nice and clean and that's fine. But if I wanted to color behind it, I just open the layer behind that, that black line work and just fill it in. Um, let's see. Or maybe erase away a little bit more. Yeah, from this bottom edge. <coughs> And now it's thinking about kind of the finishing touches on your poster. How it can be as strong as possible. There's always adjustments that can be made. But there are some kind of easy ways to try different effects uh, that I'll show you that are optional and available to you. All right, so angry elementals, water vomiting. I'm going to save it there. You want to view it at 100% so you can see what your actual print pixels will be. You make sure your resolution quality is good. The rendering quality is good. Ah, so one thing, like that super flat vector color isn't as interesting as it can be. So I'm going to take just those colors and I'm going to put a, a layer style on them. Just very slight texture. And the way I can make it slight is to play the depth down a little bit and the scale. Make it more like a comic book page texture. 